Good evening, sneakerheads. It's me, London Link, aka the Sneaker Speaker. Thank you for joining me, man, on this fine and pleasant evening. Um, man, I've got a one I've been waiting for, one I was worried about. Um, yeah, some inconspicuous boxing here. Um, we'll get into that, but. Again, thank you for joining me. Got something rather special to unbox today. Um, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Um, first video of the year, sounds bizarre. Um, yeah, we're deep in our February now, and um, yeah, first video of the year. So it seems wrong to even say Happy New Year, but that's what it is. Um, and yeah, I kind of had January off. Um, didn't even cop anything. Look at this double boxing. Mad. Um, whew, nicely looked after that. Like, like, bubble wrap. Okay, okay. Um, let's get this out. Let's get me this out of here. Let's put this down to the side. You might recognize the box. To this new year, different year, same signature dash. Uh -huh. Right, so exciting times, exciting times. Um, like I say, couldn't wait to get my hands on these. Um, the box is slightly different to what we're used to seeing. <clears throat> I like that though. You can just put pick it out of the stack, you know what it is. Um Yeah, that's the box. I'll show you the label um in just a moment. Obviously, the theme is dead there behind me. Um it's a Jordan free. <sighs> Let me show you this label, man. Right, so we have the Air Jordan 3 Retro Craft and the colour scheme is ivory, grey mist and cream. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Cream, they say. All right, all right. Uh, let's have a butcher's, man. Let's have a, let's have a butcher's man. <laughs> Whew. Steaming. Look at that toe box, man. These are a bit tasty. A bit tasty, I'll say. Um, no additionals in the box. You know what I'm saying? Just the one laces in there and all that. Uh huh. Right. So let's let's get into this. As you can tell, man's a bit excited about this one. Let me show you this shoe. <laughs> yes, the Jordan 3 Craft Ivory. Yeah, that's why I was quite surprised to see that sale, uh, not sale, get it correct, cream on the box. Um, these are the Ivories, a Craft Edition. Wow. Wow. I shall enjoy wearing these. Oof, these are, these are fire. These are bloody awesome. Um, this is my first scoop of the year. Um, it was about the same time last year. Um, kind of have the January off, you know, financial stuff as well. 
Um, so yeah, we started in February last year, same thing again this year, and happy to say this is my first purchase of 2024. Um, and to be honest with you, it was a hard cop. Um, sneakers up was a madness. First time I've been on the buttons at 8 a.m. in a very, very long time. And um, yeah, I hit once, it was error. Hit it twice, error. By the third time, sold out. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't really that worried at the time because I knew that Offspring was getting a delivery. And um, I thought I'll just hit on Offspring, innit? Like, it'll be fine. Got the notification. That second I clicked, man, sold out in my size. Yeah. Yeah, it was distressing, if I'm honest with you. First one I really, really wanted this year. And um, seems like I couldn't obtain it. Um, but I needed them, man. I needed them. Had a little rant on my social group. And um, thankfully, a family member said that they, they got two pairs and, and blessed me neatly. Do you know what I mean? So big up, Timbo. Um, big up yourself. Very, very grateful um, to secure this pair, a.k.a. rubber shoes. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the pair. Very, very grateful, my brother. Very, very grateful. Let me, um, let me give you a good look at the shoe, man. Let me give you a, a good look at the shoe. Yeah, ivory is the colorway. It does say cream on the box, but man, how clean is that? Just that side profile, bow. Don't forget Jordan 3, first visible air unit on a Jordan. Yeah, give some credit to the three. <laughs> yeah, what you would notice immediately is we've got a double mud guards here the lower part being the traditional elephant print and then you've got like a suede above that um the the, the cream or should we say the ivory mud guard in a in a flat leather and then the the upper being extremely tumbled additional features on these uh You'll see that little flap there over the eyelets on these craft version. Perforated tongue there. And something quite different, that double jump man. Almost looks like it's in a shadow. Yeah, these milky, milky white, almost translucent eyelets. Um, and then, pow. Again, <laughs> that back tab is oh so serious. Um, that milky effect again with the double branding, boasting both the Jumpman and Nike Air. So, yeah, round of applause. You know, we love that gum sole. That again, that milky, just to, to be honest with you, it's giving it that. It's translucent, that's aged look. Do you get what I mean? Um, in my opinion, this is such a clean pair of threes. Um, that back tab, I thought that was, I thought that was something that we've never seen before, but we have seen that before. Um, we've seen this on the, what are they called? Fire red denim from um, 2020. They had a similar tab. But I think it was obviously just a, a, a more clear version. Do you get what I mean? But to me, that's sick. I like that. Anyone who don't mess with the crafts, I think slightly you're missing out, man. Um, I personally love them. And you know I like a Jordan 3. Some, some, some 
Heavy Duty Classics up there, man. Some OGs up there, man. Sometimes I have to look myself and I have to bust this pair in there as well because that's over 10 years old now, that Crimson. Over 10. Um, right up to brand new joints there. The Reimagines, you know what I mean? So I love the freeze through, through and through. Um, like I say, man, I had a big worry moment with these sneakers, man. Obviously, my brethren there blessed me nicely. Sent them out in the post quite quickly. Three days later, I'm still waiting for these kicks. I'm thinking, what's happened? Please, let's not have an issue on this one. Um, Royal Mail as well, but I think the issue was it was second class signature. Um, after three days, I started making phone calls and started stressing, almost pulling my locks out, all them kind of thing. Um, and Royal Mail told me that's just the guide free working days it could take up to 10 days sir what so yeah up to 10 days and the worst thing about that situation is i asked them how much they're covered for in case of the worst case of scenario they told me 50 quid <laughs> so man i was sweating until i actually got them in hand oh, thank you very much and um yeah man I've, I've learned a valuable lesson there man don't do the second class signature thing pay for the sufficient postage to cover the value of the crap because i did not want these to go missing but still they're in hand big up timbo I think we both learned something there because obviously I was stressing very slightly. Um, but yeah, big up yourself again, my bro. Um, let's do a little uh, crep check for today. Crep check, Jordan Freeze in the his house. You know, we're getting busy with the freeze, so keep with the theme. Patchwork joints, these are almost a craft version, the way they were different like that. But yeah, a lovely pair. I, uh, I know some people slept on these and they're actually a little bit upset about that now, man. But yeah, a dope pair I'm glad to have in the collection. So guys, first video of the year. I wanted to keep it brief, but I've been slightly, slightly, slightly guessed about these, uh, these craft frees. Um, so... Yeah, thank you for bearing with me. I notice a lot of um a lot of our favourites now in these Jordans are coming in slightly different variations with the reimagines, you know what I mean, with the crafts and, and I'm liking it so far. Just hope they don't go too too mad. Um but yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. I will see you again real real soon. I promise you that. Um enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs>